Greetings from the Episcopal Diocese of Utah. I am Scott Hayashi, the Bishop of the Diocese. Advent is the first season of the Christian year. It is also the time when light begins to fade for us. The days become shorter, and even as we celebrate the beginning and live in expectation, the light becomes dimmer. And as the light gets dimmer, we in our congregations on Sunday celebrate the light by the lighting of the Advent wreath. The Advent wreath is traditionally made up of four candles. In many places, there is a fifth candle in the center, which is white, and that is the Christ candle, which is lit on Christmas Eve. The other candles are purple in color, with the exception of one rose-colored candle, which is lit on the third Sunday of Advent. And this is a sign of joy, and the scripture that is used for that is Rejoice, O Daughter of Zion. And that is important because the season of Advent can be and has been traditionally a season of introspection, reflection, and almost a mini Lent. And the third Sunday of Advent gives us a respite from that introspection or from that more difficult period. During a season that is marked also by the diminishing of the light, it is important to have that Sunday of joy and light. Some people might be surprised that for the church, Advent is the beginning of the new church year and not Christmas. But it is important to remember that when embarking upon something like Christmas, it is a time also that needs preparation. And Advent is that season of preparation and expectation in order that our hearts will be ready to receive Christ the Lord. Advent is its own special season. It is the season of preparation and expectation. What we are preparing ourselves for is nothing other and nothing less than the receiving of Jesus into our hearts on Christmas Day. Advent marks for us a new beginning of the governance cycle in the diocese. And with me today is the Diocesan Council of the Diocese of Utah. There are members and leaders and congregations throughout our diocese, and they have been elected to lead us in the areas of ministry, finance, and program. And together we will pray for you the collect for the third Sunday of Advent, together. Stir up Stir your, up your power, power, O Lord, Lord and, with and with great, great might, might come, come among us. us. And, and because, because we are sorely hindered by our sins, sins let your, your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. A blessed Advent to you from the Episcopal Diocese of Utah.